12 inch blocks and we would need we would need 48 blocks to do a twin you know it goes on a twin bed and then it hangs over for 12 inches or so usually those will fit a double too as kind of a yeah cover. that's true yeah. okay what size, what size like do you want to do a lot of people have queens. So yeah. yeah. I think Although it's probably the most popular bed size. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Although we have to get it professionally quilted then, right? Not, yeah. not a problem. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? I mean, basically, once the squares oh, are all done, point too, then we lay down a big flannel like sheet and start plopping uh, down before okay. we put them together. Okay. Good so, idea. so yeah. for now, though, we yeah. have to decide a little bit about what we do in the middle. Hey, what do you have? <laughs> okay. okay. What do I have to do? Do the so, teacher thing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 so, in order to get four blocks, yes. you cut um, five-inch squares, okay. and you only need two of each color. So you lay them down, and then with a pencil draw bag. Oh, I Been in business for about three years. We started in our basement, and with one machine, and then we moved, and then we became the distributors for the machines. So we sell and service the machines all across Western Canada, and then. We were open in our basement for about eight months before we opened this retail location. And then it's grown from there. So we have a quilting service, we sell the machines, and um, fabrics and long arm supplies. This is a quilt that we had set up because we had a, a quilting class in here last weekend. And this is just one of the sample practice quilts that we would use. And then when it's finished, we take it off the frame here, we serge the edges, and then this will go over to the shelter for in the kennels there.